All right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, this is slightly different to my normal videos, uh, but I want to kind of share with you how I created my server, and I feel like everyone needs to know about these guys. Uh, they're just amazing. So if you know my Minecraft prison server, it's an OP prison server. It's called dancraft.com. Uh, the IP will be on screen now. I use these guys uh, to host that server, and I've been searching for a reliable and really cheap kind of Minecraft host for years now and I've probably gone through around 25 different hosts for my servers and my friends, you know, professional servers and, and over the years this company has just popped out to me for the price and also the performance. It's amazing, they have amazing support teams and everything. Now I'm actually partnered with these guys now which is absolutely amazing so if you want to help me out and I'll also help you out if you want to use the link, the first link in the description if you are want to purchase one of these servers. Now you can also do modded, single player, uh, multiplayer and vanilla, single player, multiplayer, anything you want. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, they also offer FTP and I'll show you how to do everything entirely in this video. So the first thing you want to do is select your server location and I use these guys for my own server. So so you can trust me, I really do appreciate these guys with what they're doing. It's, they're really good people. So what you want to do is select the locations. Personally, I use France, uh, the France servers, because I'm in the UK and everyone gets a good connection. Even in the US, everyone gets a good connection with the France server. That's just what's happened in my case with my server. Um, but yeah. So the next choice is how much RAM you want. Now RAM is very dependent on what you're doing with it. If you're playing with a few friends, up to like five, ten people, um, a one gigabyte will do you fine. If you're looking to a bit modded, you might want to go up to three or four gigabytes depending. I personally use six for my prison server because I don't want it to be lag at all. But for most people, one or two gigabytes will do you fine. Uh, for most things with small servers to like 10 to 20 people will be completely fine. So I'm just going to do this for example purposes, I'm going to get the one gigabyte server. You can actually save money if you pay annually or quarterly. Um, there are different options here. I pay annually for my server because you get 10% a, a off. Now there's no hidden fees within anything. It's uh, They stick to their price. They're really good with that and I really do appreciate what they're doing. Um, now what you can do here is the mod pack install. You can select what version you want the server to be on. So they do. They have a bunch of different mod packs, Technic, Twitch. Spigot, uh, I use Spigot, this is for kind of mod, uh, this is for like, uh, you know, KPP prison servers, we can add plugins on, um, and obviously they have the vanilla Minecraft snapshots, which I'll be using in this video. So we're just going to the latest version. Um, you can do a bunch of different options, you can, al you also get a free, um, Bycraft Ultimate, um, thing, this allows you to, you know, if you're making a server for, people to buy ranks on, you get a free month, uh, which is amazing. This is normally around 20, $32, sorry. Uh, so you get that for free. Um, you just type in your Minecraft username and you accept the EULA. So once you've purchased a server, this took me just literally like a few minutes to do, uh, which is very quick. Uh, so you wanna go back to the homepage and click Multicraft Panel. Once you've clicked Multicraft Panel, so once you've purchased a server, it will instantly be on and you can join it straight away. So what you want to do is go on to, um, you want to click Multicraft Panel, you'll be brought to this tab here. You can select what server you want to um, go on by clicking Servers. Um, obviously I have my prison server and then I have the, the test server which I just purchased for $3. And it's actually running right now, so if we just copy and paste the IP, we can go straight into Minecraft add server and we can plunk that right in and we can join which is and we're in we just bought a minecraft server five minutes later we're in as you can see we're getting full bars of connection which is amazing it's not lagging at all there's no delays without breaking things and yeah it's going great so now that you know how to get the server we're going to talk about ftp now ftp is called file transfer protocol now instead of going to files you can actually get ftp so now this is my files for my Minecraft prison server. Now I can access all the files in real time um, on this for my prison server. Now if you want to connect to FTP to the server you just purchased, you want to click file manager and then you want to click FTP credentials. You can actually edit and move in the files within this interface but it's a lot easier if you get that FTP. So it'll pop up with all the credentials and uh, I'm going to blur this out but once you have got the credentials you want to just input them into the top of FileZilla and you will be able to access all of your files which is great. So if you're wanting to do, if you're wanting plugins like most people will, uh, like WorldEdit and you know some 
combat PvP plugins or you know just anything really, you'll want to go. I would choose Spigot, um, and you just want to select one of these and just make sure all the plugins you download are compatible. And once you have installed Spigot, a plugins folder will appear, and you can just drag in all of your plugins that you want to put in your server, just like I have, um, and they will all load in. I hope this video has taught you something. If it did help you out, please leave a like and subscribe. I do Minecraft Let's Plays and series, and I will be doing a lot more giveaways in the future. So if you want to be a part of that, subscribe, turn bell notifications on. Also, if you are thinking of purchasing a server, please use the link down below. It will be the first link in the description. It will help you out and also help me out. So it's a win-win for both of us. Anyway, take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.